The United States will not deliver Patriot Air Defense System missiles to Switzerland on schedule. Instead, Ukraine will receive them first, as ensuring the Ukrainian armed forces are equipped with necessary weapons is currently a priority for the United States, Blick reports. In the fall of 2023, Switzerland placed an order with the United States for PAC-3 MSE missiles for its Patriot Air Defense Systems, totaling 300 million Swiss francs, approximately $340 million. Initially, the guided PAC-3 MSE missiles were expected to be delivered to the Swiss Army between 2030 and 2031. However, the delivery of these missiles will be postponed due to a decision by the U.S. government, likely preventing them from occurring within the planned timeline. According to reports, the contract included an option allowing Washington to deviate from agreed terms if there were extraordinary or compelling reasons, particularly if it impacts U.S. national security interests. The current justification provided by the U.S. is related to the war in Ukraine. This information has been confirmed by Switzerland's Federal Office for Defense Procurement. Switzerland once again needs an independent and robust defense industry, as well as diversification of procurement among manufacturers and countries, emphasized the agency. It is expected that the U.S. will officially announce its decision next week, on Tuesday. There is currently no information available regarding the new delivery schedule. On June 7, during a meeting with Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky in France, American leader Joe Biden announced the allocation of a new package of military assistance to Ukraine. This includes arms totaling $225 million, such as rockets, ammunition for HIMARS, howitzers and armored personnel carriers, artillery shells, and other weapons. Russia is winning over France and the US in Africa, which also affects the war in Ukraine. France intends to reduce the number of its forces stationed in the West and Central Africa for around 600 troops in compliance with President Emmanuel Macron's policy of limiting the country's military presence on the continent, AFP reported citing sources. According to the outlet, citing two government officials and a military source, all of whom requested anonymity, Paris will maintain only about 100 troops in the central African state of Gabon, down from 350 currently there, and around 300 personnel in Chad, down from 1,000. In Côte d'Ivoire and Senegal, where there are contingents of 600 and 350 forces respectively, Paris reportedly plans to downsize to around 100 troops in each of the West African nations. President Macron announced a noticeable reduction in France's military presence in Africa early last year amid a wave of anti-French sentiment in several former colonies, particularly in the Sahel region. Protests against the European country have grown in recent years, sparked by alleged military shortcomings and accusations of interference in the internal affairs of former colonies. In December 2022, Paris withdrew troops from the Central African Republic, citing an alleged closer relationship between the African country and Russia. Several other former French colonies on the continent, including Burkina Faso, Mali and Niger, have cancelled military partnerships with Paris and turned to Moscow for assistance in combating terrorism. The Sahel has been plagued by Islamic extremism since 2011 following a NATO intervention on behalf of insurgents in Libya. Last August, a group of French lawmakers wrote to Macron expressing their dissatisfaction with France's African policy failures, which they claim have resulted in deteriorating relations with former colonies. At present, many African countries have now concluded security agreements with Russia, which has been seeking to expand its footprint on the continent. Russia is emerging as the security partner of choice for a growing number of African governments in the region, displacing traditional allies like France and the United States. Moscow has aggressively expanded its military cooperation with African nations by using the private security company Wagner and its likely successor, African Corps, with Russian mercenaries taking up roles from protecting African leaders to helping states fight extremism. 
The Polish Institute of Internal Affairs said in a study that in creating the African Corps, Russia took an assertive approach to expand its military presence in Africa. Moscow is also seeking political support, or at least neutrality, from many of Africa's 54 countries over its invasion of Ukraine. African nations make up the largest voting bloc at the United Nations and have been more divided than any other group on General Assembly resolutions criticizing Russia's actions in Ukraine.